everyone, it's Emily and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing another Not So Berry Challenge update. Yay! It's the 21st one, I'm pretty sure, which is kind of crazy. I can't believe that I've done more than 20 of these updates now. That's a little bit insane to me, but we are completely dedicating our focus to the peach generation now. We finished the pink generation last time, and now we are getting into the peach generation. And I haven't played that many days with this sim since last time, but I have done a few things that I want to share with you, so I'm just going to go over that and just go over some other like stuff with her life that's going on. So for her aspiration, she is already finished with the first branch of it. Let me check and tell you what she did. She was funny to five sims. She accomplished four of the five sims just on from like her birthday and her mom's birthday. Or no, yeah, it was her birthday, I think, her mom's birthday and then her mom's like friend's birthday and her mom's twin's birthday. So it was like a giant birthday party thing. It was mostly for like the parents. Actually, I don't think that was for her birthday. I think her birthday was separate. I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, her mom's friends were over and her mom's brother was over and she was funny to all of them. So that got her to four out of the five Sims. And then I had her hang out with her new pal. What's his face? Um new friend, um, Cameron. He was, he just happened to be hanging out when I wanted to age her up into a teen. So I aged him up into a teen as well because he was a child. And yeah, they're like acquaintances, I guess. But he was like the closest friend that she had. So then she was funny to him and that got us that goal. And um, I just played and got her to advance in the comedy skill. So I think she's at level four now, actually. No, she's almost at level four. She's 91% complete. So that's pretty good. And friends-wise, I just wanted to show you, I had her go, she sent Cameron an energized text because she woke up feeling energized one day. And, oh no, I know what happened. We had to take Yoshi to the vet and she drank some coffee while she was there because she was kind of tired in the morning. She hadn't slept enough, but I wanted to take Yoshi to the vet immediately. So we did that. And and she drank some coffee, was energized, texted Cameron, they went to the gym, and then she met Bryce and Allie and some other people at the gym. And so she was just joking around at the gym and gained lots of, I almost said charisma skill, she gained lots of comedy skill. Then she popped over to the nightclub around like 5 p.m. And then she met Camila and they hung out there for a while, and now they're pretty good friends. She just invited her over, she hung out for a while, they cloud gazed. I mean, you saw all of this in the little clips at the beginning, but just to go over that. And now here we are, <laughs> and they're pretty good friends. I think they're like actual friends. Whereas her and Cameron are technically acquaintances. Oh, they're good friends. Wow. Okay, the uh, cloud gazing thing gets them so much friendship, but it's like such a passive activity. And she's going through a mood swing now. She's very sad and um, she's blasting this music. I'm not here for that. So we're just going to turn that off and it's probably going to annoy her dad. So we'll just have her clean this up. And oh my God, the look at Yoshi. He's just walking around the counters. He's sitting in the plants cute. Um, anyway, what else do I have to say? So she is at skills wise, almost level four of comedy. She's almost at level two cooking. And I think I might actually have her cook something right now really quick. Hopefully she doesn't start a fire, but she's going to cook a single serving of grilled cheese and save it for lunch tomorrow or something. <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing to bring to school lunch, but that's okay. And she, um, what was I going to say? Oh, the reason why I want her to work on cooking is because she has to get she has to master the gourmet cooking skill, and in order to do that, we have to get to at least level five of the regular cooking skill. So I'm having her work on that while she lives at home so that by the time she moves out, she can start working on her gourmet cooking. And there's something smelly in here. I'll take care of that later. But, oh, I just noticed something that makes me very upset. I went on a whole rant today as I was recording videos about how I don't put stoves in front of windows because I don't feel like that happens. And like, sent me uh, a link or something if you can like find somewhere on the internet where that's a thing and i did that in this house and i feel really dumb now also i said that i hate putting fridges next to stoves which i do but i also kind of had to with the way this is laid out and i also had to put the stove in front of a window because i'm not gonna put okay here's my order of awful things to happen the the best scenario you want to put the a, a cabinet or a a cabinet. I keep calling them cabinets. They're counters. You want to put a counter between your stove and your fridge. But if you can't do that, you need to, you just put them next to each other and you suck it up. And then I guess second worst case scenario, you put it against a window. 
but the thing you never do is put the stove against a wall. <laughs> never put the stove against a wall. I'm, I'm, 100% against that. We'll never do that. All these other things I say that I don't like to do, but I will do them if I have to for the sake of the room and the sake of the outside of the house. But yeah, um, just had to mention that in case anyone watches my builds and notices that um, after I went on a really, really long rant about it. So just wanted to address that issue. <laughs> Also, she has to play an instrument, and she's working on the guitar, not doing too great, but that's not her main priority. She just, it just says must play an instrument. It doesn't say must master an instrument, so she just does that whenever she feels like it. Like, she's pretty sad, so she might play some, some mellow guitar music. I don't know. And she also obviously has to max the comedy skill, so we're, we're working on that. She's doing pretty good, and she has to master the detective career, which we haven't gotten to, but something that I did notice is that she has to have the joke star aspiration and then, like, master the detective career, but we, well, I guess the other challenge, like, rules, it'll say, like, master such and such aspiration, like, it'll say, or it'll say you have to complete your aspiration, but this one doesn't, this generation doesn't say that we have to complete the aspiration, and I think that's because when you look here, it says we have to join the entertainer career, but she has to master the detective career. So I don't really know. I think I might have her join the entertainer career and then just, like, work really hard for a few days and get her up to, like, a high enough level where she can join the comedian branch. She only has to get, she only has to join the comedian branch. She doesn't have to get any further than that to complete this aspiration. And I want to complete the aspiration. So I'm going to have her probably get that far and then quit and then start the detective career, which would be helpful, like time wise in the challenge, if she were able to get an A in school, because then she can start all careers at level three. Whereas if she doesn't get an A in school, she just has to start at level one, like everyone else. So I think I'm going to be working on her grades some too. She's school, high school C student now and she's probably going to get her grades up tomorrow when she goes to school I'm thinking so yeah I'm not too worried about it she'll be a B student and she still has plenty of time as a teen so I think she'll be able to get to an A and that'll help with her future so that's about all I have to update you on I did a little makeover video if you haven't seen that where I went over their new outfits that I made using some of the new items from the laundry day stuff pack so check that out if you want to see their updated outfits because I'm not going to go over that in this video because it's kind of redundant and yeah I'm not going to go through the house because we did that last time but that's all I have to say so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this week's little update on my progress and the challenge. Sorry it was really short, but now we're only focusing on one sim. She's a teen. She can't do all that much toward her goals right now. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Thanks for watching. Bye!